All right, everybody, welcome back to another video and it's great to have you here. Today I have a little extra time so I wanna take care of something that's been bugging me for a while and that's the fact that the key fob on my car doesn't unlock or lock the car anymore. So I have to do it manually, it's been bugging me. So I've done a bunch of research and I've narrowed it down to the actuator. So I ordered the part here, we're gonna put it on today. Also, we're dealing with a small space today so we're gonna be shooting on the GoPro Hero 4 which doesn't have stabilization so hopefully I'm not too shaky. So as you can see, the car's making a sound like it's trying to lock, but it doesn't have enough power, so it's not actually locking. So first I remove the little panel and the door handle. There's a little tab to release that. Just behind it, there are two screws that need to be removed. There's another screw in the handle you use to pull the door closed just beneath the rubber cover, and this plastic piece just pulls off. Next, just use a tool to pry up the window and lock panel, and it just pops out. Just press the lock tab and pull to remove both electrical harnesses. Unscrew and remove the manual door lock. Now we're ready to pop off the door panel. It's just held in with push clips, so when you pry on the bottom of the door, those will just pop out. Now you can lift off the door panel, but it's still connected to the cable for the door handle, so that needs to be removed first. There's a plastic keeper that snaps around the cable, so just unsnap it and then the cable can be removed. There's also a light at the bottom that needs to be disconnected and that can be done just by twisting and pulling it out. And there's also a plastic push pin that needs to be removed here. With the door panel removed, you can pull back the plastic to expose the inside of the door. This is the part that's causing the problem, so it's got to come out. Next, remove the three bolts that hold the door latch in place. These are really tight because the door latch takes a lot of pressure when you shut the door. So when you put it back together, make sure you put them back in really tight. Remove the bolt that holds the window guide in place to give you space to work. and push the door handle cable inside the door. There's also a push pin that will need to be removed. Remove the screw holding the manual door lock in place and take it off the door as well. Next, remove the screw holding the cable inside the door and then lift up on the plastic to lift it out of the door. Here's the back side of a push pin that needs to be removed. Just squeeze the two pieces together to let it slip through the metal hole. Now inside the door, there's a rod being held by a plastic keeper, like on the cable for the door handle. That'll just need to be unsnapped and the rod can be pulled out. There's also a second rod behind this one that I wasn't able to capture on the video, but it will be disconnected and removed the same way. Once disconnected, the door latch and the actuator can come out. Press the lock tab and pull to remove both harnesses from the actuator. This is the actuator and that's what we're gonna be replacing. Remove the cable from the black plastic and then there's a push tab at the base of the black plastic so that it can come off. There's a screw on the plastic covering that needs to come off and then the cover can be pried up. This tab is the only thing left holding it down. Once the cover's up, the actuator's exposed and ready to be replaced. There's another plastic keeper here that needs to be removed. Just unsnap it and release the cable. And remove this small screw. With that, the old actuator slides off the bracket and the new one's ready to go on. I'll leave a link to the new part in the video description. Replace the cable and snap the plastic keeper in place. Put the tiny screw back in and replace the plastic covers as well as the screw in the back. It's time to put this thing back together and make sure it works. And it worked. Now the car door locks and unlocks like it's supposed to. That actually ended up being a little harder than I anticipated just because the space was so small and it's hard to get my hand in there and see what I was doing, but totally doable. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure and like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.